morning class. So this is a video going over the first day of distance learning, a couple of announcements, things you should know. So in Piazza, you have access to this particular post that I pinned at the very beginning. Something you should for sure look at is the calendar. It has a lot of good information. You notice that it repeats parts of it here and here. So in the normal class structure, you'll have five minutes to get connected. That may look like uh, opening your Gmail, opening Piazza, getting your Merrill textbook, paper, and something to write with. Then just like in normal class, we're going to have a do now. We're going to call those check-ins. Those will be posted on Piazza, like here. Like today's, for example, is if you could change one thing about the past po a few weeks, what would it be and why? Notice here we already have students that have answered these. Please uh, go ahead and post there. This is how I will be taking attendance. You're welcome to answer anonymously, uh, but uh, know that I can see your names and that's how I'll keep track of it. And you can do these early too. Then I'm going to have a video made. I still haven't made today's, but uh, most of the time you're going to have a pre-recorded uh, video. And if I've made Okay, and you can spend class time watching that if you haven't watched it already. And then your Zoom office hours, those are all optional. Here are the respective Zoom mates. The first one's for my block seven. The next one is for my block eight. Uh, I may request certain students attend. If I want to check in with uh, you, then I'll let you know ahead of time. Uh, we can go over practice problems. You can ask me questions then. Uh, you can also take this time, like let's say you just want to join the Zoom chat and or Zoom call and just mute yourselves and turn off your camera. And then you can take this time to do the book problems that I've assigned um, quietly. And when you have a question, then you go ask me and then you'll get a response in real time. Okay, when I say Merrill book problems, that's the ones that I've outlined here in this calendar. Think about that as your classwork. I've given the classwork up until uh, May or so, and it should finish up everything about parabolas. And some things you should know about the book work is that I've broken it up into two sections. There's the fundamental section, which is for everyone to do, and then there's the enriched section for those that want a bit more challenge. I strongly recommend that the people taking Algebra 2 next year, that you do the enriched problems instead of the fundamental uh, problems. They're similar in idea, but they're more challenging, okay? And if you're just taking geometry, then it's a good idea just, just to focus on the fundamental section. If you feel like you really understood what's going on, then go on and try some enriched problems. Uh, grading, there will be two uh, assessments, okay, two tests of sorts. These will be short quizzes related to the two ideas I plan to cover during this uh, distance learning time. First one being quadratics, the next one being inequalities. Uh, here's the main part. You're going to take these again and again until you pass them. Because grades, uh, I still don't know how I'm going to do them, but I would be confident if you can do things with quadratics and inequalities to move you on to the next math class. Uh, lastly, for a typical class day, there will be an exit ticket, and that will also be posted to Piazza. Posted here. And you can also do these ahead of time. Um, this one is not very much math related, so you can answer these. Okay. But sometimes they will be math related. In that case, you may want to wait till you watch the video or do some practice before answering them. That's a typical class. Uh, let me know if you have questions. I'm always going to be available by email.